family and friends and welcome to my channel. Hey you guys, welcome back. If you are returning, if you're new to the channel, please make sure um, if you resonate or if you enjoy the read that you please thumbs up, sub consider subscribing or leave your favorite emoji or comment in the comment section. So this reading, the purpose is going to assist the fire sign. Um, currently the new moon is in Pisces um, on the for the 23rd. And the energy we're gonna focus on is what will the new moon in Pisces want the fire signs to focus on in order for them to manifest their purpose. And then also we're gonna get more information. We're gonna pull an oracle card um, for an activation of guidance and clarity. So we want advice to be able to activate guidance and clarity through this new moon energy in Pisces. The new moon is a great time for um, self-reflection, internal um, clarity, planning, organizing to see what you would like to manifest in the new moon that's coming the full moon that is coming new moons occur every four weeks so each month we have an opportunity to put our lives in order and um, begin our planning and goal setting okay so each new moon is um, contr controlled or um, within a certain aspect of the zodiac so that way we can know where the energy is and things of that nature so basically we are now going to look into the fire energy so if you have fire in your chart sun moon rising any element that you may resonate with please view the reading so let's pull six cards for the fire sign to see what we need to focus on what's going on for the fire sign first card we have here page of wands all right so let's put this a little back here so we're starting off with your energy page of rods so it's time for you to begin a new start a new beginning i do see the fire signs as possibly observing their purpose and questioning and possibly even doubtful of this new opportunity they may um feel a force that is pushing them to do the change and i feel like with this page of rods which is a new energy a new fire energy that the fire elements are definitely just observing their move and possibly doubting second guessing questioning or just analyzing what it is that they are interested in in manifesting because i definitely feel a lot of observing in this with this energy and in this card um when it comes to a new opportunity or a opportunity for some that they may have started and possibly questioning looking to revamp or revise you know, there's just some contemplation here with this energy for some fire signs here. Now, this is a general message. It may not resonate with everyone, so just take what fits and leave what does not, okay? Yeah, so let's see what is 
happening here with the fire signs? What does the new moon want the fire signs to focus on? Because they're focusing on something. Here, let's see. All right. So the five of swords. So there could have been some form of conflict, some form of disagreement, some form of falling out. There could have been some fire signs when it comes to business that they had to rebuild i feel a separation for some a disagreement for others and there could have been a partnership or a business relationship of some sort um where things were not the follow-through was not complete there was some form of ending here some form of disagreement some form of change for the fire signs and I feel like there had to have been a separation. So possibly with this uh, Five of Swords and this Page of Wands, that's why you're being called to reflect on some things that may have happened in the past or recently. And you just have to take a moment to just observe what you had to experience and this... I feel a conflict for some, some, some ma a major change, a, a, like a tower moment came about. And I do feel like there was some active movement and then something just, you know, something changed. Something occurred here. And let's see if we can get clarity on that. The Nine of Swords. Definitely a lot of air energy. Um, I definitely feel a disagreement, but I do feel that this disagreement was bound and needing to happen. I do feel some people were being held back based on this path. And now the fire energy is being called to redirect their energy, redirect their purpose, their paths and passions. And possibly I do feel a lot of fire signs are going at it alone. There may have been uh, something that you did in a group or as far as a relationship, um, business, partnership, some form of union where there was disagreements or different perspectives and, you know, people possibly wanted to go different ways or wanted to do things differently. And I feel that I feel that the fire signs definitely felt restricted. And I do feel like it was just a lot of different um conflicting like the basically the group or the union wasn't wasn't your cup of tea or wasn't your what it was like what was for you i really do feel the energy was holding you back and now you're just observing this and you're being called to observe what occurred here and what it is that you're supposed to do to to feel a to feel liberation to feel that you are being received like you have a, a larger purpose a larger meaning i do feel like you are not say above another but i definitely feel like you have your own purpose your own reason and the way that things were happening in the past was restricting you from your expression or you could have possibly been holding yourself back from a certain form of expression. And now you're, you're being called to review and receive this so that way you can be liberated. You can receive your justice. You can receive your payout. Four of Pentacles. Now I do feel like they... The fire signs are definitely holding on to things, holding on to possibly the experience. And as I mentioned, the new moon wants us to reflect. And I do see you holding on to what parts of yourself that are valuable, that are left within yourself. And that is a good start. That's a good start. It's definitely a great start to re to collect yourself, to collect yourself and to put things back in order. I do feel uh, fire signs are definitely 
utilizing this or should utilize this energy just to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and to try again to try again but this energy is definitely one that you are going to have to let go of some things that you may even consider valuable like memories or gifts or whatever it is i do feel a cleanse that needs to occur and i do feel like that's what's going to assist you with moving forward you may be trying to hold on to things that no longer serve you and the thought of releasing them is keeping you bounded to them keeping you bound to them but once you let them go once you let it go and you start to rebuild regain your self-esteem regain your self-worth regain your nine of cups your independence your emotional stability you're going to be able to manifest so much more clearly without being held down, restricted, tied up, you know, having to sacrifice or jeopardize your truth, your understanding, your peace, your wisdom, your communication. You're going to feel so much more contentment once you utilize this space to consume the experience consume what you've learned to ingest these lessons knight of swords so yes as i mentioned definitely with the knight of swords i do feel the knight of swords is you're going to definitely utilize this time to quickly deal with these messages, deal with these downloads. The night is a fire energy. The source has to do with the messages. And it's right underneath the nine of swords here. The king of swords underneath the nine of swords to me shows someone who is fearlessly utilizing the space that the new moon in Pisces provide to really get within their darkness, get within the truth, get within the this um, castle here, this tower here, as, as I mentioned, is really reflecting itself to me. This tower on, flop, on fire is definitely letting me know that you are really just preparing yourself for this shakedown, preparing yourself for this Releasement. I do feel some may feel abandoned. Um, I do feel like some has filled, um, some has feel feeling <sighs> let's look at the bottom of the deck. The sun card. You know, some are feeling Like they are soldiers and warriors. And I'm happy to see this sun card here, which is fire energy. Because although you are going through the valley of death here with the Knight of Swords, you shouldn't feel, you should fear no evil. You're definitely going to get peace. Receive peace during this full moon energy. If you attempt to find a way to collect yourself, your your reason, your purpose, your happiness, things that are of value of, to you. Let's look at the top of the deck and and work on ways to move to move on. Definitely, the six of swords is making peace with the truth, making peace with the reality. You know, coming out of these, coming out of this, you know, strenuous waters, 
for towards more calm waters, more peacefulness. I do feel like a lot of fire signs are definitely being tested with their sanity, with honest with honesty or lack of honesty within themselves or their values, their words. I do show that some are moving on from relationships that may have been their world, their everything. And I do see that there are people, if this resonates with you, a, a small percent of people that are really having to dig deep and really get to the truth so that they can get their awareness. They can get their, their pot of gold. But you're on your way. Your peace is coming here. Your peace is definitely coming. So utilize this new moon energy to collect what you have. To pick up what you have. To dust what you have off. Or to dust yourself off. Because for some, they had to lose everything to regain themselves. But it's okay because you're, you're, you you would rather have that peaceful, harmonious um, outcome than to stay victimized or the mind state of a victim. And as long as you continue to do the work, which is taking a step at a time, it's going to be favorable. The outcome is going to be favorable to you and to your peace of mind. Okay. See if there's any other message. I want to go ahead and do a courtesy um, pull. I want to clarify the five of swords. I want to see what is it that what's happening here for the Leo, for the Aries. For the Sagittarius, what is so hard for them to let go? What is it that you need to let go and be honest about letting go? Moving on for some. Moving on. Moving on from what? What is it that the fire sign has to move on from? That's hurting them so that they can reclaim their peace. What is it that you have to move on from? Six of Cups. For some, it could have been a love relationship. And a lot of you may have history with someone and you're accepting certain things because of the union that you have or because you don't want anyone else to be with them. You could be possibly being possessive. But you definitely have so much love here and you may be with the page of rods attempting to analyze the situation. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I fight? What should I do? Should I fight? And I do see that there are going to be some that fights that try to remain in this relationship. Um or this job, or this career. And there are going to be some that leaves to, to, and, and, and just accept that it's time for them to, to, be, to obtain their peaceful waters. Okay? So definitely utilize this new moon in Pisces to really just consider your feelings. Consider how you feel. Consider how you want to the outcome you want for yourself, for your relationships. Okay, so please provide guidance and clarity to the fire signs. Advice that will activate guidance and clarity for the fire signs. Please provide advice to activate guidance and clarity.
advice to activate guidance and clarity for this new moon in Pisces for the fire sign. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and give these two to you. I converse with awareness. And when I say I converse with awareness, to me, it's just like being mindful of how you communicate to your higher self. See, this air is being lifted up. And the way that you converse with awareness is by taking a moment to be silent and to see what you're manifesting subconsciously. I react respectfully of others. So bring some type of balance and peace to your center, to your core. And act respectfully of others, to me, is how you treat yourself. Sometimes it's much better to just be mindful of what you're manifesting and how you're manifesting and understand your role in the co-creation process. And acting respectfully of others shows how you treat yourself and how it shows how um, others treat you and how you treat others is a reflection of how you treat yourself. So during this new moon in Pisces, just make sure that you're speaking very kind to yourself. You're respecting yourself. It's going to be very important because how you treat yourself is how you treat others and how others are treated is how they reflect back to you so in order to stay in good graces with the source good graces with your protectors just show how you want to be treated and even in your relationships is by understanding your awareness with of yourself and how you manifest okay Take this time of the new moon in Pisces on fire signs to definitely learn to understand the value that you give to yourself and the respect that you give to yourself. Okay? Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you next time in the next video. Also, if you stay to the end, make sure you like, thumbs up, leave a comment. It will definitely assist me with the um, channel. And also allows other people to receive the message. So again, it is a general message. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Bye. Remember.